Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG uh, playthrough. And this time we are playing the uh, Escape from Mount Grum scenario from Angmar Awakened campaign. Uh, we are playing this as a standalone scenario, not in campaign mode. And I'm using the same decks I have been using throughout this series. The um, Angmar Awakened Dunedain deck uh, with some tweaks and the Angmar Awakened Elves with some tweaks. So if you want to see the decks lists, I'll put a link to the video description and you can check out the decks I am using. Um, this is a bit of a different kind of scenario. So I'll talk quickly about the setup before we head into the first turn of the game. So um, during setup, we are instructed to put uh, one hero in play. I have chosen Halbarad for the Dunedain and Arwen for the Elves. Uh, the, then we separate <coughs> a different, uh, a separate captured deck, which are here. Uh, the captured deck holds all the allies, items, and artifacts. Uh, that are in the decks. So we are left with events and conditions or attachments actually uh, in in the uh, draw decks. So it will be a quite different scenario to play then. Uh, we start with two resources on our heroes. Uh, we basically draw our opening hand then uh, put our opening hand into our decks. Then after we do the separation of the captured deck and the draw deck, we draw three cards. So I will be just drawing three cards straight away. Then uh, I have skipped to uh, resolving the setup here. So um, first off, uh, I'll read the fluff text. You have been captured and imprisoned by the goblins of Mount Graham. Then we uh, have done the setup here. Uh, we flip. Uh, then uh, you have endured much during your imprisonment in Mount Graham uh, at the hands of the cruel goblin known as Kornak. But before you are taken north at, uh, as prisoners for Lord Dachnar, Amartwil comes to your rescue. After he frees you, he slips off to find Yarion, uh, whom you suspect is imprisoned nearby. Armed with only your wits and resolve, you must find the, re uh, the rest of your company. So uh, that is basically the first uh, act card or first quest card then we get uh, both players get their own um, staging areas uh, we get these uh, act two or quest two cards so uh, escape from Mount Gram Gornax dungeons uh, alone and without your equipment you steal yourself and begin to search uh, for your companions and belongings capture seven so capture means that we have to Take cards from the capture deck and put them underneath the card that has the capture keyword. Then, when revealed, search and counter deck uh, for one copy of prison cell, reveal it and add it to your staging area. So both of these um, staging areas get one prison cell. Then um, uh, uh, capture an additional two cards from the top of your capture deck underneath that copy of prison cell. So we have done that, so we can flip these over. Then, um, during the game, anytime players would place progress tokens on this quest, rescue an e equal number of captured cards at random from underneath it. Instead, progress is placed on the active, uh, active location before triggering this effect. Force, if there are no captured cards underneath Gornach dungeons, join another player at the beginning of the travel phase. If you cannot join another player, all play players advance to stage 3A together. So uh, we have basically uh, took the seven top cards of the uh, capture deck and put them uh, shuffled underneath here. So I will be drawing from top to bottom here. Then we have the prism cells in play. So it has capture one. So we were instructed to put two extra capture cards. So we have three underneath here. And uh, they start in play at, at, as our, uh, on our um, staging area. Uh, we ignore this card un uh, until we have uh, passed these two stages, and that's basically the setup. So we are trying to find our uh, allies and uh, other heroes, uh, our equipment, and trying to escape. So that is basically everything I wanted to say before we start. So a lot to um, get wrap your head around, but 
Uh, I think we can do it, uh, so let's get started. Okay, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that one of the heroes we have uh, was shuffled into the deck. Uh, one is placed on top of the capture deck before we put stuff here. So we know that one of the heroes is underneath these um, quest cards and the one is somewhere to be found. So we can't use those heroes and if we uh, free or rescue a hero, it comes into play immediately. Some other effects may, uh, if we cap uh, get captured cards, they come into our hand and uh, some effects like the effect on the prison cell. Uh, after the players travel to prison cell, look at the captured cards underneath it and choose one to put into play at no cost. Place the other cards back underneath prison cell. So uh, we get to play an ally or a good card that is underneath that prison cell for free. So that's good. But yeah, uh, I think that's everything. So we are ready to start. So I'll just draw my opening hand for of three cards for both. So uh, again, we start with the uh, threat on the dial, which is from the hero. So we start at 10 and 9. So three cards, and these are drawn from the draw deck. So we get Steward of Gondor, Paint and uh, Ranger Summon. So we can't use the Faint at all, but we can use the Ranger Summon. And we definitely want to play the Steward of Gondor on Halbarad immediately. So let's uh, draw the Elves cards. One, two, three. We get Gather Information, uh, Protector of Lorien, and a Test of Will. So I am actually doing a Mulligan Ice. I uh, think we can do a mulligan here normally, because it's draw an opening hand of three cards. So it's just uh, changing the uh, starting hand to three cards. So we are drawing uh, again. One, two, three. Okay, unexpe unexpected courage, double back and stand and fight. Uh, the stand and fight is useless because we don't have any uh, allies in the discard yet. But I think that will be uh, changed soon enough. And the uh, Unexpected Courage is a, a really good draw for the start. So, uh, we begin uh, with the resource phase. So we draw a card, we get another Steward of Condor, and uh, we get uh, Element Light. Those are good additions. Then we get resources. So, um, I'm just placing this resource here. Because I'm immediately playing the Steward of Gondor here. And using the Steward of Gondor, I'm actually taking these nearer me myself. So we'll get two resources here. And I'm using these uh, glass beads to tell if a card is exhausted. So uh, then I will play Ranger Summons. So this goes out of. Uh, out of the game, just place it over there, and we shuffle. Let's see, do we shuffle it? Uh, we just shuffle it here, so that will help us quite a lot uh, once we draw it. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay. <clears throat> and that is uh, all the cards the Rangers side will or the Dunedain will play. So on the L side, I will play Unexpected Courage for sure. I will discard Elven Light to gain a resource, and just <clears throat> I will play the Elven Light to draw a card. Another standard fight, which is not useful yet, but we need to get some good cards from here uh, also. That is the planning phase done. We'll go to questing. We will uh, begin by questing with both of these. And uh, then uh, we'll get separate cards and these won't affect each other. So first we get one for the Dunedain. Uh, each player chooses one of their allies and captures it underneath the encounter card with the highest... Uh, well, we don't have any allies. High stretch, so we don't have any allies, so that whiffs. And I will have the encounter deck discard pile up, up here because I need some room for the 
um, for the uh, staging area for the elves here. And the elves will draw a patrol room, capture two, so we get two cars underneath here. Uh, Travel, each player raises their threat by three to travel here. So, um, now we have a threat of four here, which is bad. Uh, we only have three here, so I can't boost it in any way. So, I will have to take one um, threat here. But, then we get to travel, and I will travel here. Or... Yeah, I, um, okay, so first we'll travel here, so we get to get one card underneath here, so we get uh, Veteran Accent, in gold, Errant Rider, so I'm taking some fighting power, because we get to play that for free, actually, get to play that in gold for free. So Ingold can fight too, but also can quest a bit. So uh, I'll I'll take the Ingold because it's we we get some more cash like that. So uh, I I know what, what cards are underneath here, so I leave them uh, open. Then we'll do the same with the elves. So we travel here, and I am immediately taking the Northern Tracker. It can fight, it can defend, and it can quest and put tokens on that. So these stay underneath here. Oh yeah, and we travel here. Then... Um, I think that's the travel phase. We don't have any enemies, so uh, we get to ready. Just ready. Everything, and that is the turn. So, uh, this goes here, we raise our threat by one on both sides, and that is that round, let's go to the next round. This round, uh, I think, well, uh, this scenario is all about getting the, uh, past the first obstacle of getting some allies into play, and we have done that. So now, I'm hoping that we can start to steamroll this and get these things defeated and start getting car allies and stuff in our hands. But yeah, uh, we'll do the resource phase so we get resources on these. And I'm immediately just taking three with the Steward of Gondor, so I won't forget. Then uh, we draw cards, Elves get uh, Protector of Morion. Again, we don't need that yet. And we get Captain of Gondor. So we have to get uh, Aragorn into play, so we're going to start playing those, but uh, let's just try to figure it out while we while we do this and try to rescue more cards. So, the elves uh, will just quest and quest. Oh, uh, first we will want to maybe play something. So, I'm discarding Elven Light to get the resource, and I'm playing the Elven Light to draw a card. And I get Tale of Tinuvil. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I can't interfere in the separate staging area before uh, they are, or I join the other player's staging area. So I can't play the Tale of Tinuvil to uh, ready a Dunedain here. But I can do it here. Okay, that is everything we want to do uh, or play with the elves. Uh, actually, I'll just put the double back. Uh, over here. So we'll play the double back just so when we need to, we can uh, complete that and uh, lower a threat if needed. Uh, we don't have anything to play on this side, so we'll go to questing. So we'll quest with these two, and because ranger quests, we'll put one on the on on the location in the staging area. And again, we can't put any on this side if there were any quest on the staging area. We can only affect this uh, our own staging area here. Uh, then uh, we are four against uh, three. So not good. Actually, 
Now that I think of it, uh, maybe I made a mistake last round, but uh, it is what it is. Hopefully we can start chipping away on this one. Then on this side I will quest with both of these. And uh, be 4 against 0. So first here. And it's a cruel torturer. Uh, capture 1. When cruel torturer would damage an ally by an attack, capture that ally underneath cruel torturer instead. And it is capture 1, so we put 1 here. So uh, unfortunately we lose by 1. That's not good. Then uh, this side. Uh, each player must either deal 1 damage to each exhausted character they control or remove each exhausted character from the quest. I won't do that. So I'll just place 1 damage on both of these. But this only affects this play area, so we'll put, put this on here. But we succeed by four, uh, 3. So this is defeated. We get rid of this. We get these into hand. And uh, uh, those won't help us that much yet, but it is what it is. So that is uh, that we added the threat that we lost by one over here. And uh, well, next turn we defeat this because of the ranger. So I think we're good. We don't want to uh, engage that yet. Or do we? Uh, actually, we do. So we'll engage that one. We'll ready with the unexpected courage. It will hit us for three damage, but uh, and the shadow card. But we will defend with Arwen. So three plus no shadow effect. So we take one damage on Arwen, and that is it. So uh, nothing else happens. We'll go to. Ready phase, we add one threat to the dials, and that goes to the rangers. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, we do the resource phase again. I'll just place three here, because I'm immediately using the steward. And one here. Uh, we draw cards. So higher of Volandil, or hair. Uh, <laughs> heir of Valandil, and then we get uh, Dinar Strune. So we can't play this before we get the green uh, hero, I think, even though it costs zero. Okay, um, Rangers first. I will play this just to have an. Um, Ally that can block enemy attacks. Okay. Then, uh, because I have the money, I will play Hair of Elendil. Just to protect my Steward of Gondor if, you, if some effect uh, discards my uh, attachments. Then the elves, uh, I will uh, discard one card to get the resource, and it is Elven Light, then I will play the Elven Light. And we get the Test of Will, which will probably help us a bit. Uh, nothing else to play, uh, we'll <coughs> uh, yeah, we'll quest, so... Uh, we are questing with these two. Then we are questing with these two. And when we quest, so this completes. This goes away and we get these into our hand. And we find Athelas and Elven Jeweler. Then um, we can do an action. So I discard two cards from my hand. Uh, Elven Protector and Dinar Stoons. So we can place this into play. And uh, I think I'll keep that as a defender so I can uh, try to hit that. Maybe.
Uh, well, at least we play that. Uh, then uh, we get the encounter cards. So first we get one for the Dunedain. It is a cruel torturer. We put one card underneath here. So uh, three against two. Still, uh, we get to uh, grab one card from here. It is Gandalf. That's okay. Useful. Then on this side, shadow card is uh, Goblin uh, Dun uh, uh, Dungeon Guard. So it is capture one. After the captured cards underneath Dungeon Guard are rescued, the player may put one of them into play at no cost. So that is good to know. Uh, then uh, we are four against one, so this is defeated. We get this into hand. So let's see. Just thinking, should I try to kill this one? So I get to... No, I, I can't handle two enemies at the same time. So we'll wait with that one. Try to defeat this one somehow. Okay, well... Uh... Uh, that this guy has two defense, so that, that is a, a problem for now. So, I will ready, then I will play, okay, I think I know how to do this now. So I will play. think of it. Uh, when Cruel Torture would damage an ally by an attack capture that ally and then Cruel Torture instead. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Okay, well... Well, this Dunedain will, of course, grab this one. And uh, we won't grab that one yet. And uh, then we get shadow cards for these. So here I will defend with this. This hits for something and uh, no shadow effect. This goes underneath this one. That is it. We just pulverize that with Gandalf next round. Uh, then, on this side, <coughs> uh, I will... How can we do this? Uh, I think I'll have to defend with Orwen. So we are defending Okay, so we are defending uh, two against three uh, Shadow effect capture each attachment attached to the defending character underneath the attacking enemy. Oh damn. So we lose the <coughs> Unexpected courage, but it is what it is. We only take one damage so we are still alive with Arwen, but we need heals quick. And uh, as an action, I will play uh, Tale of Tinuel and exert that and ready the stranger. So this uh, 
no, no points because uh, we only hit for two and this has defense of two, so let's forget about that one. Okay, well, that was the defense. Uh, we can, don't have anything to attack with, so we'll just uh, go to ready phase and uh, we raise our threat by one here and one here. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So the Dunedain now first. I'll just take the three resources. The Steward of Gondor first. Then one resource here. We get cards uh, for another thing, but we need to have a hero that can play them. Another Elven Light. Uh, okay, well. We will play Galadrim's Handmaiden. We lower a threat by one. Then I will play um, uh, I will discard this to draw a card. Test of will. Oh no, uh, get a resource, then play it from the discard. And then we get a test of will. I will do it again. So discarding. No, I don't have a discard effect, so I can't do that from my hand. Okay. I think that's everything we can do. All we can do now with this. Uh, quest phase, uh, Arwen quests and uh, this quests. And uh, this will be attacking probably. Okay. Oh yeah, on this side, uh, we are not questing. We have to fight somehow oh, oh sorry uh, we still want to play something this side so we are playing Gandalf so Gandalf deals four damage to this guy we get these two cards uh, okay Dunedain Hunter and Errant Rider so we'll play the Errant Rider also so we will West with Gandalf and uh, Alvarad and uh, this so this can again defend if needed so uh, we start from this side so we quested already here we quest on this side and uh, So, we are uh, 4, 6, 7 against 0, and it is the Stop the Executioners, Capture 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is not good. So, time for forced, when the last time and uh, counter is removed from this quest, discard its captured cards and remove this quest from the game, then raise each player's threat by 3 for each of their characters that was discarded by this effect. So this goes here. Uh, so we get 7. So uh, 7 against 0, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We get another Gandalf, we get these, and we get Aragorn. And these are added into our hand, so now we have Plenty of dudes to play here, and we can travel to this side to help with the fighting. So, uh, on this side, uh, we are questing for uh, five against one. Each player discards the top 
card of their capture deck and resist their threat by the cards print that resource cost if at least one player discarded no cards from this effect interrogation against doom 2 okay so uh we discard silver harp raise threat by two okay <clears throat> and uh, yeah this doesn't affect the other staging area yet uh this i think doesn't well, um, we beat the, uh, we beat it by four, so we get to grab four cards from here. One, two, three, four, and I'll just take from the top because these are shuffled, and uh, we get some allies <laughs> which we can play, and one elven jeweler. So you have all the atlases and no hero to play them with. So, uh, travel phase, we'll do an action to play this uh, jeweler here. Then, uh, oh yeah, uh, I'm discarding the Elven Lights, sure. And actually, I played this to cancel this, so we didn't even uh, discard this. Well, uh, let's not, not back up anymore. Save it for later. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we'll go to travel phase. So, we get to travel. So, we combine the... Uh, we combine the uh, staging areas, then uh, just shuffling a bit, so now it is the Dunedain's turn to engage something, so I will engage this, then uh, we won't engage anything on this side, but uh, we get to fight first, so I won't defend with anything. So this guy hits for two plus nothing. So Aragorn takes two damage. Then Aragorn will... Uh, oh yeah, this hits and I will defend uh, with this one. No, uh, with the ranger, not in tracker. No shadow. Oh yeah, uh, too bad that was the shadow card. So we missed the ranger. But uh, we take one damage here. Then uh, Aragorn will defeat this one. So we get this into our hand here. Oh yeah, and after the capture cards underneath dungeon card are rescued, the player may put one of them into play at no cost. So we get to put this into play even though we don't have the corresponding ally. And after healer enters play, choose a player heal one damage from each hero. And we are at the same location, so I will heal two from here. Okay, uh, we are getting there. Now uh, we still need to beat this one, but that's easy next round. Then we get to get to the next phase, probably. Okay, and uh, we pull this onto, the, onto this side for next round. Okay, and I think that's everything. Uh, we ready up. Gandalf goes away, and uh, we raise the threat by one on both sides. This goes to the elves, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, then um, 
we do the resource phase, so we'll take three here using this, and one here. We get cards, uh, unexpected courage, that is what we wanted to see. And stand, uh, send for aid, not that useful. Okay. Oh yeah, and Aragorn gets a resource too. So, uh, let's see. We will start by playing a new Unexpected Courage. We'll discard one card from our hand to get the resource. Then we'll play one Elven Light from our discard. To a card. Gather information. Not useful. Okay. Mm. We really want to find the, our ally and it's, it's underneath here. Or, or the other hero before uh, we want to continue. But... Nothing else to play. We'll just put the gather information into the victory or, or there. And we want to complete this one. So, uh, questing. Oh no, we'll play something on this side. Mm, we'll play this. Search for... Uh, Two, three, four, five. Search for an orc. We'll get one goblin tormentor. Nothing else we can select with that. And this has capture one. Uh, access the number of cards and play with one or more capture. This. Well, this comes into play engage with us. Uh, then, uh, we won't. Don't need that ally. That's a bit useless. Mm. Okay, let's uh, change it up a bit and we played the Captain of Gondor, Aragorn, or let's not do that, we, we can faint, it's better th for this round. Uh, yeah, we'll play the Veteran of Osgiliad. Okay, so... Uh, questing. We will quest uh, with all of these. And then, uh, no questing. Uh, yeah, we'll quest it Halbarad for free. So that is two. And we won't quest with anything else. We want to fight with everything else. So, mm, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or uh, eleven. No, we'll save that for defending. So, twelve against uh, zero. We get two encounter cards. First is for the elves and uh, Doom Tree. And really, until the end of the round, each enemy gets minus 10 engagement cost and plus one fight if there are no enemies in play. So this just. Uh, we are at 19. 18. Then we get uh, each player must either deal one damage to each exhausted character they control or remove each exhausted character they control from the quest. I will 
Okay, I think I should have uh, discarded something to get a resource. Then I will play Test of Will to cancel this. I think I forgot to do that, or maybe I messed up. Well, it is what it is, but we have to cancel that. So, uh, 12 against 0. So this is defeated. And it has time 4, but we defeated in one turn, so don't won't bother with that. So, uh, capture 5, so 5 cards, so these are all from the Dunedain. Okay, so the Dunedain have plenty of cards to go around. For future turns. Then, uh, uh, nowhere to travel, we'll go the combat or or the encounter phase nothing to engage uh, we will start the fighting here so first off we'll cancel the attack of the bigger one this is only for three but we'll just cancel this one with the paint with Aragorn uh, the other one hits and I'll defend with this little guy here Not no shadow effect so this is defeated and we'll kill off both of these. So uh, first off I will defeat this guy. And this guy comes into the ranger's hand. Then I will defeat this one. And these come into the elf's hand. And that is everything. So we ready up. We are slowly getting uh, on top of things. So we are at 20 with uh, threat with the elves and 19 with the Dunedain. And Dunedain are ne first next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we'll do the resource phase, and uh, I'll just use the steward of Gondor immediately. Aragorn gets one, uh, Orwen gets one, we get cards, uh, steward of Gondor, and uh, Daron's rune, so we can't use that. Uh, first off, we will play stuff. For sure we want to play... Uh, uh, Faramir will play another Dunedan Hunter. One, two, three, four, five. Hoping to find one orc. So we find one orc. And it is capture one. So now I actually have to check. Uh, did I misplay that? I, when the areas combined, do both players put one capture card? Okay, it's player. So uh, there should have been one from here on some card that came into play or no 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 none came but this goes here okay and uh, that's I think everything we don't uh, we have another one so I will play another one. So five cards, and I know there's one orc here. So this is capture one also. Uh, 
and capture one. This captures a couple. Okay, that's uh, everything we can play from the Dunedine. We saved the uh, Aragorn's resource for the Feint. And uh, the Elves I will play. First of all, discard one card. Don't need this, I'll get the resource. I will play uh, this lower uh, my own threat by one. Oh, sorry, the wrong ally. So, uh, shuffle my top card of my discard into my deck. So, this could have been something useful, but it isn't. Okay, so we'll do it, it in a different order because uh, we'll actually, before we discard anything, we'll play that so we get to discard, uh, shuffle the test of will back into our deck. It's much more useful than this. Then we discard this. Okay, questing. Uh, we'll quest with Halbarad. We'll give this to the elves. Uh, elves will quest. Everything except one ranger. Uh, we know there's no uh, enemies coming, so we'll just quest with everything. And we'll uh, quest with in gold. So, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Against zero. Uh, 20 against 3. And. Uh, 20 against 5. So we beat by 15. So this is defeated. Uh, we'll get this into play. Then, uh, travel phase, we have to travel to the next phase but we also will travel here oh yeah this uh, gets two captures cards underneath it also so uh, we get to add southern gate and Okay, so a lot of things is happening now. We can travel here before uh, we have cleared this. Okay, then we will one encounter card to a player. Uh, we will cancel this with this. Yeah. No, uh, we'll take this and capture this. So, race by two, race by four. Okay. And uh, that's it. Uh, we'll go to this side. So, now we need 16, but. Uh, we need to also, after we get the 16, we want to travel here and then uh, defeat this one to win the game. Of course, before that we need to deal with that. But first, let's deal with these. So, first off, uh, we'll shuffle these. This is ending up to be a, a bit of a long turn. Try to finish it quickly. Okay, so these are shuffled shadow cards. Then uh, I will defend with this one against this one. Uh, this one, two, three. It's for, uh, I'll defend against this one. So, nothing, 
Uh, defended for one, so one damage goes through. Then this one I will fail. No, I'll defend with Halbarad. Nothing uh, again, <laughs> the Ranger. So we take one damage on to Halbarad. Then uh, we will hit back. So Aragorn will hit this one. Just no, uh, we'll hit it with this one. We defeat it. So we get to put these into play. Well, let's just put this here and this one into play. Then this actually comes into play after one or more captured cards are rescued. Taylor Gornak engages the player with the highest threat and makes an immediate attack. So the highest threat is here. I'll defend. So yeah, this kills this. Then uh, we will grab this from here. No, Aragorn wasn't in the fight. Well, Aragorn will defeat this one. And then this hits again. And I will defend. No. Oh dear. Uh, I'll, as an action, I'll pay... Damn it. Uh, let's not attack with Aragorn. <laughs> we don't want to yeah, get this guy hitting again. But that's uh, the combat done. We'll uh, ready up everything and uh, go to the next round. Uh, raise our threat by one and one. And this goes here. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and... Uh, uh, we'll get some resources first off and cards. Elrond's console. Oh, yeah. Uh, something. Oh, yeah. If this comes the active location, we'll go to 35 threats. So that didn't happen. Yep. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot uh, was to shovel the Angmar orbs into the encounter deck. I did that between the turns, so uh, I think we didn't draw except a couple of shadow cards before that, so I let that slide. Uh, we get one card for the uh, Dunedain, and that's a good one, because now we can sneak attack Gandalf in to kill the Jailer Gornak some point. Uh, okay. We'll use the Steward of Gondor. Get some resources. I will play Snowborn Scout. So this is immune to player card effects, but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just put one here. Then we will play another Snowbomb Scout. Just to get some buffers. We have one resource left there. So this is defeated. Uh, this resource at that uh, location is put for the first player. Adds one resource to each of their heroes' source, uh, resource pool. So we get two resources on the else. That's good. We'll save that last one, but we'll play. We'll keep. Yeah, we we don't need any more allies. We want to play the feints. Uh, we'll play this on to Aragorn. Okay. 
then uh, we'll go questing. We'll quest with all of these. We'll uh, put progress over here. And that doesn't get because it's immune to the player card effects. Oh yeah, uh, I'll play actually Athelas to Dunedan pay to heal Arwen. Just in case. And uh, yeah, we want to play something else also, so... Don't have any allies into the Discord, so... I'll play an Unexpected Courage underneath here. That's better, I think. Then, um, <clears throat> the Dunedain. So, Halbarad will do uh, questing. Uh, Faramir will give the elves pluses. And uh, Ingold will quest. I think that's everything. Uh, let's first see how much we have. So, uh, one, two, three, four from the Dunedine. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 21. So, twenty-five in total. Oh yeah, these actually come into our hands. So, these are the Rangers. These are the elves. Okay. So 25 against the 5. Uh, each player must either deal 1 damage to each exhausted character they control or remove each exhausted character. Do we have. Uh, we discard one card to gain a resource. Do we have a. No. So, we deal some damage here. One here. One here. One here. <laughs> That's bad. So, we need to recount this. And these take damage. So, that, that was a bad encounter card for sure. So, let's recount this. So, we have. One. Uh, these give 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 4 is 18 against uh, 5. So 13. And I think that's everything. Yeah. So, um, we get uh, 13 progress on this one. It's not enough, but we're getting there. Then... Uh, the second shadow card, yeah, we forgot to. Okay, so actually, we beat it by 10. So this guy came in. After Angmar Marauder attacks and destroys an ally returning to the staging area. Okay, well, uh, we will not engage any. Uh, well, we're ready with this. We engage. Yeah, I think I'll play Gandalf and just pulverize that one. So we'll leave it in that 1B. Then, um, we won't engage anything, we won't engage anything. Uh, we go to fighting, we'll just put the shadow card here. Uh, we will... Uh, first this guy hits. 
I will... Actually discard a card and play this to play this. No, it doesn't help. Yeah, so uh, I will discard this. And play it from my discard. With this. So I'll place the resource here. So this guy can defend. And uh, attacking enemy gets plus something. Yeah, this is killed off. Then we'll go here. This guy hits, and I will. Uh, I'll actually play this Elrond's Council to lower my threat by 3 and give something a plus 1, it doesn't matter, because now uh, this hits, I will just defend with one of these. Uh, yeah, if uh, the, this ally is captured, it doesn't matter. We will just kill it with Aragorn. This engages and hits. Uh, it will kill off one of those. And I will sneak attack in Gandalf. Deal 4 damage to this one. Then, yeah, these are uh, returned here. And. Uh, Gandalf and these enemy uh, rangers will just pulverize this, so this is 9, 13 against 2, so this is defeated. And that is the combat done. We ready. Gandalf go goes back into my hand at the end of the phase. Then we'll actually travel here travel phase because I forgot we have that location in play. Okay, that, I think that's everything we do. Uh, we ready up. So, a couple of more turns minimum. This seems to take. Uh, we add one threat here, one threat here. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we'll add resources to else first and draw a card and draw a card add resources adding one Aragorn and three to Halparad with the steward of Gondor so uh, we will start by discarding a card to gain a resource then uh, I'll play this. Actually, we'll gain the resource to here, so I can uh, play this healer here, so that we can heal this. Then I will with the last. Uh, yeah, I, uh, that's everything I can actually play on the else. On the Dunedain, I think I will play, save Gandalf for next round. So, we'll just play one of these. Put uh, a progress token there. And uh, I forgot to paint, but it is what it is. We'll put one axe hand into play with Aragorn. And that's everything we want to play. And we will go to questing. Uh, I will quest with basically everything on the elf side. I'll leave one guy 
Well, I don't need. Uh, but yeah. I'll leave one guy up. I'll leave that ranger. Uh, then we'll give. Use Faramir to give these elves boost onto the willpower. And nothing else, so. We have uh, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 23 against 3. I think that's enough. We'll get uh, one of these guys and uh, one of these guys. So uh, 6, 7, 8 against 23 is 15. So we clear this. All it takes two. We get uh, Faramir here and this here. And we'll just discard two cards. Put this into play in the first action phase we can. Then um, we'll get some uh, enough here. So. I'll just put to 16, so that's enough. Then we'll travel here. So now our threat goes to 35. And each orc has a plus 2 for combat power. So this will engage us. I will engage. Uh, this one and this will engage. I'll get, engage that one. Uh, actually, I'll just engage both with the rangers because Halbarad is in play. Then uh, we'll go to uh, the combat, give shadow cards. And I will. This will look just ready with the unexpected courage at some point. I will defend against. Uh, this with, against this one. Uh, Shadow effect discard a random card from your hand and raise your threat by the printed cost. Well, <laughs> easier said than done because I have so many cards in hand. So. Okay, so threat raised by four. That that's not good. Uh, Thirty-nine. This goes back here because reasons. This hits. Um, I'll defend it. This one. Oh yeah, this is defeated. Uh, two. Uh, that is uh, fight one. Plus zero, so it deals one zero damage here. Okay, that's good. Then uh, I will hit this with Aragorn, killing it. We get these cards into our hands. Then this uh, we can engage with Aragorn, and I will just kill it with the axe hand and one of these guys. This is 6 against 1, uh, so 5 damage, so that's defeated. And that is everything, we'll just trace our threat by 1. This goes here, ready up. And next round we just need to quest uh, enough to defeat that one, and that is game. But that is that round, let's finish the game on the next round. Okay, and... Um, just get resources on these guys. Uh, we have enough here, so we just need to get 8 here to get this out of play, so that will advance immediately. And I think I will just uh, use the Steward of Condor, of course. So uh, we'll play Gandalf.
and we will have the feint in hand in just in case. So Gandalf will uh, lower our threat by four, uh, five. Okay, and we'll go questing, so we'll just quest with every L we can. And then some. Then uh, uh, Aramir will first get this, uh, the boost tells, then we'll quest with Gandalf and Halbarad too, so Gandalf, Halbarad, those are six. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So we are thirty-one. And against zero. We get two cards. Uh, plus two, plus two, we get some captive cards here, but this is removed, so we win the game. So that is game, and that is the escape from Mount Cram scenario with the Angmar Awakened Dunedain and Elf's deck. So uh, it is a pretty easy scenario once you get past the initial hindrance of playing only with one hero and uh, not having any allies at the start. But after you get past that, it starts to snowball slowly but surely. And this is the end result with these decks. So hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.